Okay, in this video, let's talk about unsuccessful litigants going to court, going to the High Court, and whether they should have to pay costs or not. Gemma O'Doherty and John Waters obviously have brought a number of challenges to the High Court against the government, against the state, against various departments, the Department of Health, for example, the HSE, uh, the Dáil, and so on. And it brought those applications for judicial review on the basis that the legislation that was introduced to deal with the likes of COVID-19, the regulations and so on, that that legislation was disproportionate and was a step too far. And basically they were looking to have it declared unconstitutional. They proceeded by way of judicial review. They were unsuccessful in the High Court. They appealed then to the Court of Appeal. They were unsuccessful in the Court of Appeal. There's talk that they're going to go to the Supreme Court. I don't know whether that's going to happen or not. But the question of costs arises from their unsuccessful hearings at the High Court and the Court of Appeal. In both cases, both cases, the High Court and Court of Appeal essentially decided that the case was without merit and the normal rule of costs following the event would be the situation as to costs. In other words, they were to pay not just their own costs, whatever they were, but the state's costs because they lost and the loser basically pays the costs of the winner in litigation and the normal rule is costs follow the event and that has a statutory basis now. However, the question is whether the state, whether the government, whether the Department of Health and the notice parties and so on, whether they pursue costs against O'Doherty and Waters. If they don't, obviously, the taxpayer is going to pick up the tab because the cost won't be paid, but the state will have had to pay for the cost of legal costs of defending the hearings and so on and so forth. So should the state pursue the likes of Waters and O'Doherty for the costs as they are perfectly entitled to do? If it was a private litigation situation, for example, two companies or perhaps an individual and a company or any other type of litigation, any other dispute, any other parties, then it's quite conceivable that one party would go after the other in a normal debt collection sort of a way in order to recover the costs, which they're entitled to do, which is the legal position. However, will the state go after Ordority and Waters? If they don't, as I say, bottom line is taxpayer is going to pick up the tab. A case this week then, or last week, I just read about it there in the newspaper or online, it was to do with a lady who brought a claim uh, for or brought an application to the High Court for an order that her son be allowed to sit leaving cert without wearing a mask. And she didn't have medical evidence or a medical report to support her claim, to support her application, and basically she lost. And again, the usual rule is, and she was warned about this by the High Court judge, the usual rule is costs follow the event. Now, she had uh, the application brought against, I think, the Department of Education. And bottom line is, whoever she was going against was some sort of an emanation of state. In other words, the taxpayer is going to be picking up the tab for the defence. However, the application was unsuccessful. And therefore, if costs are awarded against her, I'm not sure whether they were or not, but they probably will be, and she was warned about them. If costs are warned against are awarded against her, will the state pursue those costs, or will the taxpayer again end up writing off the costs and basically picking up the tab? A lot of people are annoyed and frustrated that people exercising their constitutional right, their uh, basic right to go to court to pursue any matter, any legal matter that they like, are ultimately not going along with the obligation, fulfilling their obligation essentially to pay costs if they lose. 
we all have rights and we all have entitlements so we can all go to court but with every right with every entitlement comes a corollary obligation and the obligation is that if you lose you pay your costs and you pay the costs of the winning side that is generally the situation now, that was certainly the situation with Jim O'Doherty and John Waters. It may be the situation in relation to the lady who brought the claim or brought the application against the Department of Education to have her son not wearing a mask during the leaving certificate. But again, the question is, will the state pursue those costs against the losing, uh, the losing parties the, in the litigation? As I said, in the normal situation, normal case, if I was suing somebody or somebody was suing me, they're going to recover their costs or seek to recover their costs if they're successful, and I'm going to do the same thing. And if I'm instructed by a client, obviously I'll be telling the client, you'll be able to recover your costs from the other side if they have the money and um, if you're successful. It'll be interesting to see whether the state does or not. It is unusual that um, parties can seem to go to the High Court with impunity and without any real regard, any real concern or apparent concern for costs. I know if it was me, I'd be concerned about going to court, I'd be concerned about the cost of doing it, and I'd be concerned about the cost of, um, of losing and the consequences of losing. I'd be interested to hear your comments in the comments down below. Should the state pursue costs against unsuccessful litigants? Or should they just write them off and let the rest of us, the taxpayer, pick up the tab and give people free run in the courts to have a pop at the state or at the government or at the Eurotus or at any government department, any emanation of state and not have to be concerned about the ordinary concerns most people uh, worry about, for example, paying their way. Anyway, I'd be interested to hear your comments down below in the comment section. And if you find this video useful or stimulating, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.